What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. DJI had their little press event today to announce the Mavic Air, which we all anticipated. But wow, I was definitely blown away. I did not expect it. It did come in at the price point we all did expect at $799. But the feature set that they unveiled with this uh, blew me away, actually. I figured it would try to cut back in costs to not try to cannibalize on the uh, Mavic Pro options and the sales on that. However, they have it shooting 4K. They have it with more intelligent flight modes. They have it at a cheaper price point. They have a lot of the features that a lot of people wanted on the Spark now in a, a little larger package. As you can see in this video here, it does shoot 4K at 30 frames per second. It is actually going to have a three-axis gimbal like the Mavic Pro, unlike the Spark had, it only had that two-axis gimbal. The max flight time is somewhat in between both of these. It has a 21-minute flight time, which is a little less than the Mavic Pro. As you can see in the video from DJI, the modes on this is phenomenal. I can't wait to try this out. I will definitely be getting one in-house as soon as possible. Everything about this drone, um, it, it's top-notch. It's what you would expect from DJI. It's a little smaller, like I said, than the Pro. It's lighter. The video bit rate is higher. It has a higher frame rate at 1080p. It'll shoot at 120 frames per second versus the 96 at the Pro does. It has a higher max speed at 25 and a half miles an hour versus the 40. A wider field of view. Improved sensors for optical avoidance. Uh, it, it supports more gesture controls. Can track multiple subjects at once. It's up for pre-order right now on DJI's website. It is going to be $7.99. You can buy the Fly More package as well, like they always shoot with, um, for $200 more. comes with two extra batteries and a few replacement parts, I believe. I would consider it if you're in the market for a drone. Uh, I personally use my Mavic Pro more than any of my other ones. However, I might be getting this one. I don't think I can uh, resist the value for what you get. Let me know guys, are you going to be picking one of these up? Is it worth it? Or are you just going to go ahead and splurge and get the Mavic Pro instead? Don't forget to thumbs up this video guys, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think. Enjoy the video.